530, a painful and costly road to recovery after an Allied Gardens family says an Akita mauled their dog. And Animal Services says this is not the first time the Akita's attacked. 10 News reporter Matt Boone spoke to the owners of the injured pup about the action they're demanding. The dog's owners were out of town on Sunday when this happened. Their dog was here, though, at the Allied Gardens Community Center Park with their dog sitter who was playing fetch off leash with the dog when she says they were approached by a man with two Akitas. There was a whole entire other section of the park, green grass that he could have walked through. He chose to walk towards. Reina and Bradley's son sit in the VCA Animal Hospital in Kearney Mesa, imagining the trauma their dog went through. Obviously, you get the news and you're you're beside yourself and there's a lot of tears. Their dog is a multi-poo named Sarge. I mean, he's only eight, nine pounds, but he definitely has this uh, vivacious attitude towards life. Brad's sister had been watching him and took him to the park for some exercise. Sarge was off leash, chasing a ball when they say a man with Akitas walked by. The Akitas were leashed, but one of them managed to snatch Sarge. And he had some pretty substantial wounds over both sides of his chest, which are consistent with crushing. It sounds like the dog picked him up, uh, probably bit down over the chest, and then also had some wounds over the neck. Julie Brown is the emergency veterinarian. When Sarge first came in, she said his chances of survival were 50-50, though today there was some good news. You know, he's probably got at least a 75-80%, if not better, chance of, of making it through this at this point. County Animal Services confirmed the Manzikitas were involved in another mauling in 2015. The sons say they now realize their dog should have been on a leash, but still worry the Akitas could strike again. We want this dog euthanized, flat out. We do want justice to be served here. It's Matt Boone, 10 News. Well, the Humane Society says it's still investigating that incident.